Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. So this video was requested by um, a few people on, I think, YouTube and Instagram. I'll put the Instagram link below if you guys are interested in following the Tech Prepper. But um, we're doing a little bit of a, a trip here uh, while I'm working and we're in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. And we're staying with some friends and uh, I thought that the radio situation would be much better than uh, my home state of Arizona where we live. And it turns out not to be the case. We still don't have cell coverage and there aren't any digipeters in our area. So the video that I did a couple days ago uh, was about a service called APRS. So please check out that video first so you have some context in what we're doing. And um, so I wanted to do some trail runs. I wanted to run around the lake and uh, have our friends and my wife keep taps on me. Well, there isn't a digipeter out here, so uh, what I did was go ahead um, and set up my base station in the RV. And uh, with that in place, I was within close enough radio uh, range to be able to communicate with my handy talkie back to the RV's base station and then have that function as a digipeter and an eye gate. So that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, I won't go into the actual software and configuration. What I will do is uh, put a link down in the description to Jason's uh, video, uh, KM4ACK. Uh, he has a fantastic video, and he was the one who showed me how to set up the software uh, on my Raspberry Pi to set up the DigiPeter and iGate. But what I would like to do is just give you a quick tour. So we started with, um, uh, by deploying my ATOS 25 uh, 40 meter through a uh, 70 centimeter antenna um, outside. Uh, it's the basic setup that I used in my 2020 uh, field day operation. Then I just ran 25 feet of coax um, into, the, into the coach and into my radio. So I'm gonna reorient the camera and uh, I'll show you what we're working with. All right guys, so let's start from uh, right to left. So over here on the right, we have a four amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from BioWino. Uh, these are fantastic. Uh, then I have a small PowerWorks uh, power distribution block. It'll um, allow one input, and then you can use any of the three other connectors for your power output. Right now, I'm just running my Yaesu FT818ND um, off of one of the available uh, distribution ports. Uh, like I said, this is my uh, primary QRP radio. It's low power. Uh, it works fantastic. On the back side of it, I have the coax connected, and then I have the cat control cable connected to the Raspberry Pi on the other side. On top of it, I have my signal link USB. This is my sound interface uh, between the radio and the Raspberry Pi. So this is fulfilling a similar goal as the uh, MobiLink TNT that we talked about a couple days ago. And uh, I use this for all my digital work, so it's kind of cool to still be able to uh, reuse it for APRS. Uh, moving off to the left, I have my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I'll put a link to this below if you guys are interested. I know the 4 has come out, uh, but I believe the 3B Plus may have dropped in price a little bit. Um, the Raspberry Pi itself uh, is temporarily connected to one of my, I think it's a 38... 100 amp hour uh, battery charger via USB. And the reason for it is I left my uh, 12 volt to 5 volt buck converter at the house. Um, otherwise, this unit is typically connected to the power distribution block. So it's a good thing I had a backup. So just a lesson in uh, being prepared. Uh, it's not ideal. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see how long I can run the Raspberry Pi off of my cell phone battery charger. The other thing that the Raspberry Pi has, you can't see it in the back, there is uh, a little USB dongle for Wi-Fi. It's from a company called, or it's from Canikit. And uh, what I've done there is uh, set that up in host AP mode, and this allows me to take my Raspberry Pi with me mobile without internet access. So it's set up as a um, access point so that I can connect and associate my laptop or my tablet directly to it to log in over VNC. So kind of a cool setup. The onboard Wi-Fi that I have, uh, I was able to configure it to uh, use the Wi-Fi on the property that's right next to us. 
so there are basically two wireless uh, adapters on this unit. Uh, so that's how I'm actually able to turn this into an eye gate. Uh, and all an eye gate is is a digipeter that is bridged with the internet so that it can forward uh, the traffic uh, to things like SMS gate. Uh, so in the demo we did a couple days ago, we were able to uh, go through somebody else's eye gate and they were able to send the message through the SMS gate uh, gateway service and send that through the cellular network so that my wife and I could exchange text messages. Um, in terms of the software, uh, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Uh, I think I'm using kind of an older version of Stretch, maybe uh, going back to about a year ago. And then the two pieces of software that are actually turning this into a Digipeter at Nigate, uh, the first one is called Direwolf. And Direwolf is a virtual TNC that supports um, APRS, KISS TNC, a whole bunch of really cool things. Um, it can run fully headless. Uh, that's the direction that I'm planning on taking it next. Right now, um, I'm basically um, not, I, I'm not using it for the APRS side of the house. Um, I'm actually using another piece of software called Exaster. So these two pieces of software are working together uh, in order for me to be able to use uh, APRS through this station. And again, I just want to reference the excellent work that KM4ACK uh, Jason has done. And that's the only video I use to be able to set this up to do this operation. All right, guys, I uh, really hope you uh, enjoyed this quick walkthrough. Uh, I was not planning on making this video. Um, once again, I wanted to say thank you to every subscriber, um, everybody who's commenting, sharing, doing all of that stuff. Um, so please continue to help support the channel if you do like the content. All right, guys, this is the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Thank you.